I'm joined by the Ulster GA Rider Sports Award winner for the month of May 2016. That's Kevin's Martin Riley, a star performance against Armagh in Brefty Park, converted a penalty and uh, was one of the men that maybe this new word transition uh, on a football field was very important and you transitioned a lot in that game from defence to forward line and back and over and across and everywhere. Congratulations on your award and your accolade from the Ulster GA Riders this month. What's your reaction to receiving the award, uh, Martin? Um, I'm delighted to, to get this award. Um, I suppose I haven't got too many individual awards. Uh, it's always nice to get some recognition for all the work that goes in, so I'm delighted to be here receiving this award. Can you take us back in your playing career? You started out, uh, you have a long and winding road. You started out playing uh, soccer, I believe, with Burnley uh, at a tender age. Yeah, yeah. I um, left, um, took over to England when I was about 17, and uh, I was over there for just under two years. And I came home, got back into playing with my club, and um, it wasn't too long back until um, I got called into the senior setup and uh, was playing with the under 21s as well uh, as a senior. Uh, team in Gavin, so um, it's, um, it wasn't long. I wasn't long back till I was back into playing Gaelic football, so uh, it's been enjoyable. The Corden brand of Cavan football, where they're getting high scores combined with a good defence, which was in place for a number of years there, seems to suit you, Martin. Yeah, I suppose um, it probably. Um, I have the probably maybe fitness uh, to get up and down and play in that system, so it probably suits me. It takes a lot of work and effort, but um, I enjoy that role. Um, I enjoy getting involved in many plays and working hard, so, so it, it suits me. Looking forward to the big game against Tyrone on Sunday in Clonus. An Ulster semi-final and a final maybe at stake, but you played Tyrone in Crow Park in the league. You know all about them, but this will be a different kettle of fish, I suggest to you, Martin. What's your attitude as a, as a team heading for Clonus? Um, yeah, we're, lo we're looking forward to it. Um, in the league final, <clears throat> Tyrone are probably the better team. We have lots of things to improve on fr from that game. So uh, hopefully we can learn from the mistakes of the league final and uh, cut them out. And if we can do that, I'm sh sure we'll be thereabouts uh, come, the, come the end of the game on Sunday. Without giving away too many secrets about what's going on in the cabin camp, but are you working on things to counteract uh, what Tyrone brought to the plate in Croke Park and what you've seen already in the championship? Of course, yeah, I would. you be trying to um, trying to um, stop Tyrone in certain areas, but um, we um, we're obviously doing that. But um, we'll also be concentrating on ourselves and our strengths, and uh, we'll be uh, looking to. Uh, Show, show, uh, show people what, what we can do next Sunday. You've certainly done that in your career to date and particularly in the game against Armagh, showcased all your talents. There's a new, renewed confidence in the Cavan team and you playing as a unit. Is that something that will help you going into the Tyrone game? Oh yes, um, I, I suppose it's probably the best team I've ever seen, or best squad I've ever seen and been involved in, in Cavan. Um, there's a lot of confidence there. Uh, with good players all over the field and good players to come in from the bench as we've seen the last day. There was players that come in and made a huge difference. So uh, it's, 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 uh, there's a good feel around the camp and um, hopefully we can uh, do the job on Sunday. If I were a betting man and I don't bet that much, uh, Martin, uh, should I put a few bob on Cavan against Tyrone and Clonus on Sunday? Uh, what would be odds? Would you, would you be giving if you were a bookie? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I'm not into betting on myself. But, right. Uh, <laughs> um, I hope we can do the job. Uh, we 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 uh, feel uh, we can go out and we we can uh, we can give Tyrone a good game and hopefully we can get the right result. And on a personal point of view, uh, playing with Killigarry, your club, and playing with Cavan and uh, your career, you're an engineer by uh, profession, isn't that right, Mark? That's right, yeah. yeah. I'm, uh, I work in uh, Lakeland Dairies in Kilachandra. Um, there nearly just around two years now. So uh, it's good to be working local as well for the football. And uh, your father's here with you tonight. Uh, that's Porrick, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A dedicated uh, True Blue supporter. He'd be in Clonus cheering you all on. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, he, uh, he enjoys uh, going to all the cabin games and all the club games as well. So <clears throat> he'll definitely be there. I wouldn't be missing it at all. 
Once again, Martin Riley, congratulations on your accolade and your achievement. Ulster GA Writers Award winner for the month of May 2016. Wish you well on Sunday and congratulations. Thank you, thank you. <laughs>